so uh, am I doing this right or it is easier if you don't talk oh yeah okay yeah I'm not uh not talking I cannot sense the shrine there is so much unrest among your crew their emotions are overwhelming me they look to you for guidance help them Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... <sighs> but now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You had no right to have the Antenna Woman do that to me. You did not even ask my permission. That is the height of offense, Peter Quill. Mantis was just doing what I asked. Okay, that is all on me, buddy. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. Because you are too feeble-minded to know any different. Hey! She told me I was afraid. I do not like to feel afraid. Such feelings bring me great shame. But, talking to you, a frequently scared person, has helped. Yeah. Anytime, Drax. Hey, bud, what's up? Well... It ain't Captain Indecision. What are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back... someone they love. I am Groot. I'm not gonna kill someone to use this thing. End of story. You already did! We killed Thanos, remember? And it saved you! You know, come to think of it, I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. Better than your worthless hide. You don't mean that, Rocket. Now you're telling me what I don't mean. Man the ego on you. I meant every damn word. I... Um, Groot? Have a nice night. Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Okay. The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while, Ugh. she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying. I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Give her some space without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just, maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time.
Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. But I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Um... Hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey. It's me. <laughs> Peter Quill. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool. Yeah, this is, uh... This is really... How's the arm? Ah! That's for not letting me fight the Kree. Sorry, Nebula, but it's what seemed right at the time. Yeah, you have a pretty flexible idea of what's right. Just like my sister. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. I bet she forgot to mention how she ruined our family. How she destroyed my life. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. Gamora is a good teacher. I owe all my knowledge to her. And yet you emerged the victor. You have clearly outgrown her teachings. There is something you must know about Gamora. She has told me that she does not believe you are ready for this mission. That you never will be. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side, as my greatest warrior, and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. We shall see how things go on Phalion. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation.
<laughs> Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! Tarval was about to kill you, Nebula. I just saved your life. I know you want to impress Thanos, but trust me, he is not worth dying over. Nebula. Father. I am done with her insolence. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you- Is it done? What's going on? What are you making him see? It wasn't over! She showed me your last mission together. I was trying to show him what really happened with Tarval. But of course, you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. And as usual, you didn't bother to find out until you'd ruined it. Oh, yeah. Because if I'd known you were watching yourself kill me again, I would have been fine with that. Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own back. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin Gamora, I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing if me. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know... I even checked your pulse, just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm... Pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. It's possible... I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. That... Family ended a long time ago. Uh, I'm the one who got stabbed here. Oh, as usual, it's about you. I'm just saying, if I can forgive you... Forgive me. Do you have any idea what I've gone through? Yes, you've been pretty clear about all of that. Nebula, look, I don't know you, like, super well, even though I've seen, well, more than I'd like to of your life. But, man, you obviously cared about Gamora. And I think you still do, so... Please, sister, give me a chance. All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay, let's go. Thank you. 
Well, if it isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> well, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Thank you for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you... Ow! Hey! What? Oh, uh, was that a dagger? Was it... What, you got a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. You're a good friend, Peter. Uh, hey, Pete. Uh, I threw some mean words your way back there, and I, uh... I just... I wanted to apologize, you know? So, yeah. Sorry about that. I just, uh... I got worked up, you know? This whole... Forge thing... Hey, don't even worry about it, man. Best friends forever? Yeah, at least until death. It's close enough. So such sadness. You are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? Why, why are you crying? Why am I crying? Oh god. The little box brings you so much sorrow. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past. Not living here, in the now. Experiencing all the wonderful things around you. Well... It's hard to let go of the past. It makes you who you are. I can see that, but I don't want to be defined by what came before. Everyone should be able to correct the course they're on. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better and worse at the same time. I loved it. <laughs> 